Okay, rather annoyingly, I have just lost the first part of this mission, which, you know, is a little annoying, all things considered, but hey, what deal. So, yeah, I basically lost all of the start of this. We didn't do anything overly significant, but still, it's annoying to lose anything. Um, general strategy has been to basically keep one stack of all of the, um, the town items and getting rid of any loot which isn't worth thousands so i we're stacking sapphires when we find them now we've got an inventory slot free before a couple of battles we know about should all be good so there's the first bit of food usage and some stress relief so what ways have we got to prevent nighttime ambush i believe we probably only have you so we'll take a little bit of extra stress from this but we have ways of relieving that now so nine respite um we can certainly do a couple of a couple of quickenings, I suppose. We'll go and do a scout ahead. And that leaves us with six points. To which we can go pep talk. We can go pep talk. That wasn't actually how I intended to do this, actually, but. Yeah, there we go. So you're minus 30% stress at this stage. That should hopefully keep that 76 okay for the time being. As the light gains purchase. Right, and now we're about to enter the treasure room. There's another additional bit of stress um, healing here. This armor trap. Gain an extra eight. And we need some extra food while we're here as well. In fact, we're going to gain quite a lot of stuff. Right. To the brave Obviously, that's the helpful. Um, and while we've got a space for it, we might as well have the gold rather than the onyx, I suppose. I think most... Actually, no. They stack in fours, don't they? They do stack in fours, I believe. So, actually, that's going to be worth 2,000. The gold's only going to be worth 1,500. That's the sort of logic I've been working on with my previous items at this stage. Um... The match Other than what struck. I need, obviously. A blazing star is born. And here we go. So we have a lot of wide mouths. And bile. Because this guarantees a kill in two rounds, as long as they suffer. And as long as the first one goes, that's pretty guaranteed. They are quick, though. Let's see, we slash for 11. Second set of bile. So, unfortunately, that one's going to be okay because he went second. But this guy, once we put another one on, should be finished. Unless I redress the balance now, I suppose. Yeah, we'll go with that because we've nearly got a yeah, chance of killing it. And a bit of artillery in the back. Slash for seven. I think I'm going to have you start self-healing at this point, because you've been taking a bit of punishment at the moment. A lot of punishment, really. Meanwhile, more bile. Great is the We're dead. Cuts on its own. Heal yourself for eight. And you're finished. Okay, seven spearfish does nothing. Okay. Artillery, ten at the back. That's all we've now got is the front one. We have some stress heal. Yeah. This is what happens when I try and heal things. Alright, five. Resist the bleed, thankfully, so it's kind of undone some of it. You can go and heal up, and whoever's got a move left can finish you off. Foolish horrors. Brought low See, and that into is the a tempting mind. thing here. Alright, the full stack of 12 is probably worth more, but I want to have deeds if they come up, so. Laden yep, with deeds loot. can. In fact, what do this can I just take? Supplies. All I won't be able to take would be the. 
No, actually, that's fine. I don't mind. Because these can convert into everything at a reasonably fast rate. Scout report tells me exactly what I knew already. Okay. And here is the encounter. Start Call of the Deep. Okay, Stun Mile is probably the way to go here. And now, more importantly, I think what we need to do is see if we can't finish you off. Not quite. Artillery. Not enough on it there either. Stun buff and a goblin grab. Dodged. Stress wave for two. That's okay. Can live with that. Some more bile. Eight damage around. That finishes that guy off. And we have two people to attack and kill this thrall. Who now can't dodge. And he's marked, so extra damage all round. Collect the bounty. 30. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Might as well your stress at this point because he's already dead. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. It's just trying to give me. I mean, that's an antiquarian only item. We don't have an antiquarium. Arguably, I should not even be considering taking this. But you know what I'm going to. <laughs> and for our medicinal herbs as well. Which I think we would have needed if we get some corals up down here, which is almost certainly going to happen at some point. Some loot. 500 and a key. Waiting to be spent. Take the key, certainly. I can't really do much with the gold right now, so we move on. Okay, the tide pool here. And you're cleansed of only six stress. Does that affect debuffs as well? If it does, that's annoying. But not debuffs, you know, if it affects it both ways, the amount that um, comes back, that's a little awkward. Another encounter before an encounter. Energized Stingers. Right, this thing has 15 health. Prefer to knock it out, but I do want to put some blight on it before we start. Six and attempt at stun, which works. Now that's more important. I mean, it. Go with that because that's probably going to be enough. Yep. Hit the thrall. It's now marks so of extra damage from you. Should be dealable now. I can grab the 12. So, Connor, you're on self healing duty. Fortunately, you're also stunned and have. No, you resisted both things. Might as well stun you on the off chance we miss. It was really an off chance. And we will rebuild Connor with a crit. Okay. Oh, and we got a third sapphire. This expedition right, and there's 3,000 sorted success. out there. We don't really want any of that, so we're good. Let's move on. Packs have the map inside. So after this combat, we do lose our camping bonuses, so it may actually be worth just going and um, camping after this one. Some stashed heirlooms. Fortunately, nothing I want. So because we're going to be camping, I'm actually not going to torch up at this stage. In fact, we've got too many torches again. I could, I could definitely afford to torch up here. You surprise them. Good. Gives me a round to put some bile on the bulwarks. Singular strike. Double vial. Artillery. Nine and seven, so that's one down, one still to go. And I'm going to put a mark on 
Actually, I don't have to put a mark on. I can just actually go for the knockout punch. Okay. So this is the only one that's really got free reign. And unfortunately, he's shocked the one person best suited to go and... No, he hasn't. They've been really bad at that so far, this... Um... So far, this dungeon. They've not once managed to get their either the buff or the bleed effect off. Or the stun, rather. The bleed effect's the second one they go for. Right. Bile. Which is just going to massively stack on you now. More bile. Eight damage, which is enough to kill you. Because that's enough to kill you. The ground quakes. Getting a crit. This is actually a problem thinking about this. This could be a problem. He might explode here. You're dead, so you're not a problem, but he... No, he got... He, thank God. Well protected, there's... Um, that's probably the more dangerous combo here. But either way, it's dealt with. Doesn't matter if you resist the stun, we'll probably do enough damage here anyway. Finish him. Who didn't finish him? Another heal. That has caused the bleed effect this time, but... This is why we have so many bandages. These nightmarish creatures <sighs> can be felled. They can be beaten. Alright, let's, let's grab the full stack of money. It feels wrong, but I'm going to do it anyway. Right. We're getting towards the end, which is why I'm considering money at this point. I do want to camp, but we'll wait and get to the next one up. And run the, um, run the, run the clock down a little. So three more busts. I think we can take three busts over the, um, over torches. What was I just saying? Doesn't matter. I was thinking optimize, optimal, and unfortunately that meant I used the torches up before I used, get rid of them, even though that's what I said I was waiting on, but. I suppose we did get the only benefit we were going to get really out of that if we were camping here. Okay, no secret doors or anything revealed. Let's go and use the firewood up. We have enough food to do that. So the stress has actually massively improved since we've started this. We shall, of course, commune. Let's add to the scout ahead chance. And then we're going to use that. That. No, oh, I slightly messed the order of this up, but it doesn't matter. So three of them now have a 15% reduction in this. Rest up. In radiance, may we find victory. Okay. Almost to there. We have two loot slots available now. Which I guess means we're taking those. Don't have those anymore. And some bandits. Okay, bandits, bile, bile, bandits. So you're dead in two rounds, regard. Actually, no, you got 17 health, not 16. But I suppose we are going to be Eldritch Artillery, so you probably are dead after this shot. And we dodged. And since this is extra damage to humans, might as well just outright kill you then. Five and six. Slice and dice. How quickly the tide turns. This is where a pull move would be kind of helpful. Without failing that, we'll go for the stun things here. Let's move the last guy into range. Finish him. Your stun wears off. You, you blight yourself to death. And vulnerability hex. Probably try to just transform them out of habits sooner or later. Finish him. He's stunned. Go for it. Alright, we'll grab 
the money because that's going to make more than that even though we, if we stacked and I held all of the ones I had previously I probably would have gained more money doing that okay we have a shovel to get the loot out of that which is nice and these two are in a reasonable position all right bile masterfully executed apparently that was a crit gonna go finish her Having up some more bile. And just for the sake of it, an Eldritch Artillery, even though it kind of became pointless. Free damage. And bleed. But we still have free bandages, so we're more than fine there. And you've brought up the Bulwark. But you're in position for bile attacks, so we got that going for us. Darn you for doing some healing. Alright, um. Stun you, actually. Yeah, protection's off. Eldritch Artillery. Sweeps up the board. We do need a bandage. We are applying a bandage. And since it's a stun target, let's do a 12 crit to you. I've come to collect. Stunage. Resisted. He's got a very low sun resistance, actually. He kind of got lucky there, I think. Five. And bleed. Right, you're finished. There we go on the self healing side of things there. We're going to go for vulnerability hacks. which leads to massive increase in damage. 14 crit. I'm going to end this mission with so little stress and balance. Right, might as well get a double bile attack then. The bases that provided the bile works. And they have no blight resistance, I've just noticed. Finish him. Grab all the loot, and we're going to use one of the shovels. Or is it merely Which gives us a good amount of gold. We've already passed the treasure room, but is there going to be one in coming up? Ah, I hate these long missions at times. Anyway, moving on. More stress relief. And your bleeding effect finally wears off. Empty sacks and torch. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. All right, is this going to be the last room battle? They are surprised. Might as well set up some bile for them. Eight damage a turn on both. If I knock you back, that means the Eldritch Artillery's got a chance of killing you. Which is exactly what I'm going to do here. No. It does extra damage, of course, and you do have the wand for it, but apparently that wasn't enough. One marks Blight for eight. Dodged. And seven. Did resist both effects, thankfully. Right, time for some stunning. Seven on you. Seven on you. And I can finish you. Which is the one slight down of side that I can't actually do a lot else with you. Crit two. Okay, see so with Slash, which is missed. I should probably be thinking about healing you, actually. But I imagine that'll have to come later. 
And as in comes some stuff. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Okay, full food and the light, the promise of Let's safety. do a scout report before we go much further than this. So there's no room battle down there. We actually know where everything is. So that is the last encounter, so therefore I do not need my torches. I also don't need the shovels, but I don't have anything to go with that. So. Blast it all. Yeah. I probably needed holy water or something for that, but. Oh well. Didn't have any. What could I do? Sack is empty. And. We disarmed that too. Hunger strikes, but we've got plenty of food in reserve. Okay, last room. And I'm going to stun you rather than go for our usual tactic. Let's see what slash. Ten. I think you probably need some healing actually, but for now, let's go for another stun. I should probably transform and just, you know, do something of that nature for a change. At least I can with um, whichever one of them is at the front. Twelve twenty-four or definite kill. Definite kill. Stun you. Transformation sequence! And time for a rake. And you're getting stressed. Uh, you are going to end with a little more stress than we would like, but still. Spearfishing is dodged. Snarf! And finish her. Which just leaves the Eldritch Artillery at the back, which is probably going to be lethal. It was. This right, that is worth more than Push that. That is worth more end. than the food. Actually, it'll be worth more than the keys. I think the food does sell back for five each. Okay, return to the Hamlet. We are victorious, and we have a set of level At last, fives. Marine life can flourish. If indeed there is such a thing. Well, that was rather successful all round. I'm not going to bother with all of that. I normally do, but we'll wait a bit. A couple of diseases we're going to have to cure, but we have a stack of level 5 characters now. Spotted Fever and Bulimia. Death Low Resistance has... That's actually a better... No, I don't mind that trade, actually. Un Death Low Resistance is probably going to be actually rather important soon. The degeneracy of the Hamlet is nothing, I fear. When compared to the condition of surrounding acres. Okay, we'll get both of you cured up. And so, as you can see, we have basically one person too low to um, help us out at the moment, and he's stuck there until we get some level 3s to support him. And even then, he's probably going to be stuck. So, Ronald. There's a possibility I may let you go. And then do an Operation Temps of the Dark with four more people. Because we do want an Antiquarian at this point. I'm probably going to go this way. Because honestly, if we were to use you in um, that sort of way, we'd only be able to use you on one mission and then you'd be leveled up and we'd then have the same problem with just with three rather than four. So I think Ronald is going to have to be recloned. But that's something I'll try and work out in the um, in the future. Meantime, though, we look towards this, and if we check the exchange rates here, I can trade all of them for thirty, and then I could I could probably do this actually. Yep, then trade portraits. My portraits sell for a lot. Um, yeah, portraits for nine. That leaves me enough, and then I can even. Boom!
Boom! The, end, the blacksmith is finished. Upon a strong arm and tempered steel. Oh, whoops. That, that wasn't what I meant to do there. Right, what do we need for the stagecoach? We need portraits, which I just got rid of a load of. Huzzah! Okay. Well, experienced recruits are there. I just need now a lot of portraits and a lot of busts. So those are the two priorities. I do not think we actually need deeds for anything anymore. I might be wrong about that, but I don't think deeds are anywhere. Nope. Portraits are needed for the bar. That's needed for there. For sanatorium. Nope. So I do not need deeds at all. So I might as well do that. So next time, we are going to go on a level 5 slash 6 adventure, and we are going to try and walk a couple of people through things. However, partially because of that, and partially just, you know, stuff, we need to go and get you and you, and probably Slime Boy as well, stress healed. Or do I gamble and go with it anyway? I think we might be gambling and going with it anyway. Um, if we look then, I think we have both bosses unlocked for that. There is, however, a short one here for champion level. So that might actually be next, but it also gets us portraits. So I might do that, just see if I can push a few more people up to level 6. And after that, we'll see where we stand. So, until then.